I'm Karis Tyndall, a director at Charles Eade Gallery in Mayfair, London. And these are three Roman horses of the goddess Selene, the moon goddess. They're carved from a pristine white marble and still retain a lot of their original polish. Quite remarkable considering they were carved around the 2nd to 3rd century AD. There is a huge amount of movement in these three figures, with folds of skin on their neck, their nostrils flaring, their pricked ears, and their heads being thrown back in a kind of frenzy almost. Around their necks are cords, and from which dangle a crescentic moon. This is what indicates to us that these belonged to the moon goddess Selene, or Luna as the Romans called her. This fragment comes from a large sarcophagus. In the second century AD, there was a change in burial fashions in Rome. And instead of cremation, most people started to opt for inhumation. And with that, a huge number of large-scale sarcophagi began being carved. The quality of these varied enormously, as one might imagine. But one carved in such high relief as this, and to such quality, clearly belonged to a very important individual. Who could that individual have been? Well, not enough of the sarcophagus remains for us to know for certain. Selene, or Luna as the Romans knew her, was a titan moon goddess and protector of charioteers. Perhaps this sarcophagus once belonged to a charioteer. He must have been a very successful and rich one to be able to afford a sarcophagus quite as impressive as this, however. To me, these three horses are all the more beautifully brought to life when I read the words of Homer in his Hymn 32 to Selene. The air, unlit before, glows with the light of her golden crown, and her rays beam clear, whensoever bright Selene, having bathed her lovely body in the waters of Oceanus, and donned her far-gleaming raiment, and yoked her strong-necked, shining team, and drives on her long-maned horses at full speed at even time in the mid-month. And her great orbit is full, and then her beams shine brightest as she increases, so she is a sure token and a sign to mortal men. I find it so apt that this mortal man chose for Selene and her horses to be represented on his final resting place.